This is the 2015 Ram 1500 pickup truck undergoing a small overlap crash test. This generation of Ram was really underwhelming in the safety department, as its occupant compartment partially collapsed. Did Ram address these concerns when they redesigned the truck for 2019? To find out, let's explore the Ram 1500 crew cab's performance in the world's most demanding crash tests. First up, let's use the updated moderate overlap crash test to evaluate the safety of backseat passengers. This test now includes a dummy in the rear seat, which simulates the impact and injury risk for a human occupant. Unfortunately, the Ram does a terrible job in this test. The restraints fail to properly control the dummy. Look how violent the dummy movement is in the Ram compared to a top performer in this test, such as this Mercedes-Benz GLE. We can see that the Mercedes takes proactive steps as soon as the vehicle detects a collision. First, it activates the pre-tensioners to remove any slack from the seatbelt and ensure the occupant is well positioned to minimize injuries. And secondly, it deploys the side curtain airbag early to ensure the occupant's head is shielded from hard surfaces. The seatbelt in the Mercedes remained firmly on the dummy's pelvis. Whereas, look how in the Ram it dangerously shifts from the pelvis onto the abdomen. To make matters worse, the dummy in the Ram also recorded an extremely high risk for injuries to the head, neck, and chest. Unsurprisingly, the Ram scored the lowest rating of poor in this evaluation. Next up is the updated side impact evaluation, where vehicles are struck by a 4,200 pound barrier at 37 miles per hour. The Ram does considerably better in this test. The structure does a decent job withstanding intrusion into the occupant compartment. The distance between the Ram's B pillar and seat center line is 18.5 centimeters. This is not as good as the Rivian R1T, Chevrolet Silverado, Toyota Tundra, but better than the Ford F-150. The Ram's airbags did a great job protecting the dummies from making hard contact with any surfaces. These driver and passenger dummies recorded a low risk of injuries to all body areas. All in all, the Ram scores the highest rating of good in this evaluation. Let's take a look at the strength of the Ram's structure in a frontal collision. The small overlap test is the best evaluation to do this because it concentrates all the crash forces on only 25% of the structure. The Ram did well on the driver's side. Peak intrusion in the upper compartment is a low 4 centimeters. However, the lower compartment has a higher amount at 17 centimeters. This leads to significant injury forces placed on the left leg. The passenger side structure does considerably worse, with 7 centimeters of intrusion in the upper compartment and 23 centimeters in the lower compartment. This is worse than the Tundra, R1T, F-150, but better than the Silverado. Overall, the Ram officially earned the highest score of good on the driver and passenger sides, but the passenger side is on the lower end of this threshold. The Ram 1500's roof withstood just over 22,300 pounds of peak force. This earned the pickup the highest rating of good. However, most of the competition has an even stronger roof. Look how the Rivian even crosses the 30,000 pound territory. The best safety features are the ones that prevent a collision. The RAM offers an optional system that detects and brakes for pedestrians in its path. We can assume that if the vehicle is able to stop for pedestrians, it will also stop for vehicles, which are bigger and more visible targets. In the daytime testing, the vehicle avoided most collision scenarios. Notably though, the RAM failed to slow in this 37 miles per hour parallel adult test. At nighttime, the RAM's performance deteriorated significantly. Even when using the high beams, the truck barely slowed in most of the tests. In the 37 miles per hour test, the Ram completely failed to stop. This is among the worst performing nighttime systems available in any modern vehicle. Confusingly, the Ram has five headlight variants. Unfortunately, only one of these variants, the LED projectors equipped on the higher end trims, performs well. Two of the variants are halogen reflectors, and these do okay on the straightaway but fall short in the corners. The final two variants use LED reflectors. These ones also fall short in the corners, but they also do terribly on the straightaway. Look how shallow these low beams are. These are especially dangerous on unlit highways, as they don't give the driver enough time to respond to road hazards at night. The Ram has three major safety issues. 
The biggest problem is the poor rear seat protection in the updated moderate overlap test. This issue alone should be disqualifying for anyone who frequently carries passengers in the rear seat. The second issue is the insufficient performance of the automatic emergency braking system with pedestrians. Finally, most headlight variants have subpar reach. Only the most expensive models of the Ram have good headlight capability. Fortunately, it does better in the small overlap, updated side impact, and roof strength tests. The large pickup space is largely a safety disappointment. As we've seen in previous videos, the Ford F-150 and Chevy Silverado each have their own problems. Unfortunately, at the time of this video's production, there is no clear option that is safer in the large mainstream pickup space. The Rivian R1T is generally a safer choice, but it also occupies a more premium pickup truck class. To learn more about the safety of pickup trucks, check out this playlist. Thanks for watching.